Hello, my name is uh, Peter Murray. I'm a hand and microvascular surgeon and orthopedic surgeon at Mayo Clinic in Florida. Uh, I'd like to talk to you today about joint replacement of the hand, wrist, and elbow. This is commonly known as joint arthroplasty. You may be familiar with joint replacements of the hips and the knees, for example, but you may not be familiar with the concept of replacing joints in the hand, wrist, and elbow. Over the last 20 years, um, <clears throat> these techniques uh, have been advanced. And the instruments that we have and the actual prostheses we use for joint replacement surgery in the hand, wrist, and elbow um, have become much more advanced. So you might ask, when is uh, a joint replacement of the hand, wrist, and elbow appropriate? Well, most situations uh, are dictated by a diagnosis that we call arthritis. And you may be familiar with arthritis or know someone that has arthritis. But in general terms, arthritis can be broken down into two broad categories, what we call degenerative arthritis and rheumatoid or inflammatory arthritis. In degenerative arthritis, the joint just wears out over time. And most everyone um, experiences that at some time in their life. <clears throat> Uh, inflammatory arthritis is more of a disease or a condition um, where the joint is destroyed by chemicals in the bloodstream um, that are uh, in part a uh, hereditary diagnosis. In any event, uh, patients with uh, these conditions can suffer from uh, lack of mobility or pain in the particular joints. Um, so let's talk a little bit about what kind of surgery is involved. <clears throat> well, when the joint is destroyed uh, from arthritis, uh, the joint is actually removed, and it's replaced in most circumstances by a metal-on-plastic device, and this is called a prosthesis. Now, this prosthesis can be put inside the bone by a technique we call press-fitting uh, or with cement. In any, either way, um, this uh, prosthesis is designed to be as durable as possible. So obviously, as time goes by and people become less active, then we can expect the prostheses to last longer and longer. Um, in the hand, for example, we can replace uh, the joints in these knuckles here we call the proximal interphalangeal joints, or PIP joints. Or they can be uh, used to replace the MCP joints, or, uh, which stands for metacarpal phalangeal joints. Um, <clears throat> what you may not be aware of is that in the last five to seven years, Mayo Clinic has been on the cutting edge of developing new and improved arthri uh, arthroplasty for the wrist and also for the elbow. Um, these procedures all are typically done on an outpatient basis, with the exception of perhaps the elbow prosthesis, uh, which requires patients to stay in the hospital maybe one or two nights after surgery. But by and large, when we're talking about wrist and hand implant uh, replacement surgery, those patients go home the same day, usually with what we call a regional or local type anesthetic, uh, where they don't even have to go completely asleep. Um, in, in any of these prostheses that I mentioned, the recovery time is usually in the four to six week range. So it's uh, uh, generally not a prolonged rehabilitation time. If you'd like more information about uh, joint replacement surgery of the hand, wrist, and elbow, uh, contact Mayo Clinic uh, Florida directly or visit our website.